good morning students we started third schedule and in that uh, changes around us this lesson we started okay so till yesterday what we learn types of changes okay so these all types of changes here i written all the types of changes which we have learned before okay so the first one is a reversible change okay. reversible change then second one is irreversible change fast change slow change periodic change non periodic change desirable change undesirable change physical and chemical change so in short we will see all these changes we will revise it again okay so see reversible change reversible change means what those changes can be reversed means whatever the original substance which one we are using that original substance we are getting back for example what we um, i given that time example the uh, stretching of rubber okay if you will stretch the rubber again it will come its original position so that is known as a reversible change and reversible change Uh, these and the physical change mostly both are the similar okay now the next one it is a irreversible change second one now irreversible change it is totally opposite of reversible change okay what is a irreversible change just to recall it again irreversible change means those changes are not reversible means those changes are not in reverse okay if one time that change occur then it is the permanently change okay so see irreversible change is similar to chemical change okay so in this what is the example irreversible change curding of milk means see curd do you know curd okay so how the curd is prepared you know for that the milk we used okay so that milk you will get back again no totally the characters of that is change okay so this is a irreversible change now fast change means what those change takes place within a second okay means the time period is a very short uh, i given yesterday example the breaking of chalk okay that is a fast change then switch on fan switch on light switch on and off this is very fastly change means the time require very less so that changes are known as a fast changes the next one it is a, that is a slow change slow change it the change is occurs but it require a more time here it require more time that is known as a slow change means growing plants it happens next day the suppose today plants height is this much then next day it is big no it is not possible because it take a too much type growing plants growing children now you see you only when you were there in a senior and junior kg how you were small okay but now how means this is the process takes place means it takes a longer time to complete okay so this is a slow change then periodic change see periodic change means what the change occurs certain period of time means it is repeating again okay after sometimes it will the change again it will repeat for example day and night day and night it is a continuously changing do you know that and how the day and night was because of the uh, revolution of earth and all okay that we learn already so this is the example of a periodic change uh, you saw the pendulum in um, a clock it is there see it continuously that pendulum it is like this it continuously it's moving this way to and fro motion okay continuously and the time period is fixed so that is also the example of periodic change now non periodic change it is means certainly it's happened we don't know only that okay so non periodic change we don't know when it will occur and it is not a repeating means whenever we are not knowing about that okay that changes are called as a non periodic change i given you the example nisarga cyclone earthquake okay disaster natural disaster these all are the examples of non periodic change then next one it is there that is a desirable change now desirable change yesterday only we learned desirable change means what desirable means which is 
we like okay means a uh, good changes you can say it is a good changes for example when your mother is preparing food that is she is cooking food means it is good those changes are useful for us that all changes are known as a desirable change so cooking food growing plants uh, so many examples are there that is desirable then next one it is there that is a undesirable change undesirable change means which is not useful for us spoiling of food that is useful for us no so it is a undesirable change so whichever the changes are bad changes which are not useful for us that changes are known as a undesirable changes okay so do you understand these all the types of changes so today homework is means we will see this difference physical and chemical change but before that these all the changes types of changes you have to write in your chemistry notebook and each type of change in next period next chemistry period write this five examples of each type of change okay now next we will see that is a physical change and chemical change what is the difference okay this also we learn but just we are revising and some practically i will show you uh, so first one see changes occurs only in physical state size and shape uh, i shown yesterday the how the sponge size is change when we are applying the force on that pressure on that okay so changes only occur in physical state solid liquid gases okay only occur in physical state or size of the substance or shape of the substance that changes are known as a physical change okay then a chemical change means what change in the chemical composition now chemical composition means it is a totally change means state is also change okay everything is a change in this change in a chemical compositions means whatever the characteristic of that substance that totally change after the chemical reaction okay for example burning of paper see first paper how it was the color and everything you saw before that okay but after burning it is totally change it is converted into ash means the new substance we are getting so this is a known as a chemical change i give an example means normal water if you will take in that i have to add a salt after that you see the taste of that um, water totally change means new substance we are getting in this chemical change so physical change is a temporary change means it is only the certain period of time after that it comes in its original position so it is a temporary change and chemical change is a permanent change means one time that change occurs then it will that's the remain same only it is a permanent there is a no change again then no new substance are formed in this physical change no new substance no new substance are formed okay and in chemical change one or more new substances are formed in this chemical change then individual properties are retained retain means it say it store there only it retain same whatever the property suppose paper properties the paper properties if uh, if you will cut into the small small pieces that is a physical change okay but the properties are same even if you will cut into the small small pieces the properties are same so that example is a physical change but when you will burn that paper that time that all the properties change so that is example of chemical change okay so now i will show you one example of chemical change what is see this one this is in my hand it is see here what is this this is a magnesium ribbon okay magnesium bond feet is there now what we will burn this this magnesium when this magnesium ribbon burn that time it comes contact with air and you know that in air oxygen is a present okay and because of oxygen it will start burning just see here
as see here this is magnesium ribbon okay now this is a chemical change you will see here white ash is there so new substance is formed so this is one example of chemical change and this burning of candle this burning of candle is also example of chemical change and see here the wax is melted this wax is physical change melting of wax is physical change because after some time you will see this wax is again solidify okay so this burning of candle after some time you will see the size of this candle is uh, small okay so burning of candle is chemical change and melting of wax is physical change so just now you saw this magnesium ribbon is burned with a white flame means now here the chemical reaction takes place okay magnesium ribbon magnesium means what is the symbol of magnesium now you know that symbol of magnesium okay we learn in element compound and mixture mg when this mg is reacted with now to whom is reacted with oxygen okay so it gives a new substance and that is a magnesium oxide okay so this is a example of chemical change uh, next point we will see in next lecture but today your homework is these all the points you have to revise one time read lesson changes around us and in 7th standard ncert textbook physical and chemical change one lesson is there just read it and write this notes in your chemistry notebook thank you